Hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the GameCom, and today we are starting a brand new series in Civilization VI Gathering Storm. So, if we hop into the Hall of Fame, we'll notice that we have won as most of the Gathering Storm leaders. Still hadn't put any of our other saves in the game, that's why everyone's grayed out right now, but um, all we have left with Gathering Storm leaders is we have Eleanor of Aquitaine, uh, we still have to win as Pachacuti, we did play as Pachacuti in a live stream. Chat convinced me to go for a uh, science victory in that game. And then about 30 turns later, we discovered Korea, who was making like 300 science per turn at like turn 120. And I was like, I guess I'm just going to lose now. So uh, we ever ended up never winning or finishing him. So at some point, we'll go back and do a series on him. And we're currently doing a series right now in our live stream on Coupe, which ironically, when this video goes live on Thursday at like 1 p.m. Eastern, we will be going live to 2 p.m. Eastern on Thursday, uh, hopefully finishing that game up on twitch.tv slash the game comment. So check that out if you're seeing this video uh, when it goes live. And then today we're going to be playing as Wolfred. So now the question is, once we finish all the Gathering Storm leaders, I'm tempted to not put any of our saves in and then just to go through everyone once again. And then we can just use this as a great little, you know, glance at... Um, uh, 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 who we still need to play as. The other funny thing is, I never actually save the game after we win the game, so I'd literally have to go back and play every one of our saves up into the win, so it would be like another, like, 30 minutes per, because usually that's how long an episode is, so I'd have to play every sieve 30 more minutes, which, yeah, 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 probably not. So, today, like I said, we're gonna be playing as Canada. Let's go ahead and create the game. We're going to bump it up to Deity. We're going to go down to Canada, Wilfred, and then let's go ahead. I think we're going to leave it on continents. Let's do disaster up to four. I love disasters. I think they're a ton of fun. So I think we're good with that. Uh, I think I want to do temperature cold because why not? We're Canada. Let's do some cold. And I think we'll leave everything else as is. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a random seed. There's our map random seed. Okay, let's just go ahead and hop in the game. Here, I'll do it one more time in case you missed it. Nine nine six six five 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 four four. Nice. All right, start game. So, as Canada, what's the deal? Well, we like tundra. So, if it ever loads in, there we go. Uh, last best west allows farms to be built on tundra terrain. After civil engineering is unlocked, farms can be built on tundra hills. Reduce the cost of purchasing snow, snow hills, tundra tiles, tundra uh, tiles by 50%, and then 100% extraction rate of accumulated resources. So essentially what you're saying is we want our iron and niter and uranium to spawn in tundra because we'll be gaining more per turn, which is nice. Because, um, yeah, it would actually extract at, like, uh, four per turn instead of two per turn. And, you know, we will totally not miss the uranium this time like we did in our Ottoman series, which I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so in case you're missing what I'm talking about. In our Ottoman campaign, we had uranium, uh, one source of uranium, and I was complaining that we didn't have a second source of uranium. And then everyone was like, yo, you have one in one of your cities, but uh, I had pre-recorded all the episodes before they went live. So I was like, I'm sorry in all the comments. I missed it. I'm dumb. So then we also get four faces apiece. Cannot declare war on city-states or surprise wars. Surprise wars cannot be declared on Canada. For every 100 tourism per turn, get one diplomatic favor per turn. Okay. And then get 100% diplomatic favor from successfully completing an emergency. So wait, does that mean if we complete an emergency and it rewards you 500 diplomatic favor, you make a thousand? Or does that mean if we have 2000 diplomatic favor, we double it to 4000 if we successfully complete an emergency? I'm assuming it's got to be the latter because doubling 2000 would just be ridiculously powerful, right? Hmm. Okay. So, I think the plan is we're going to want to go for a diplomatic victory. Hi, I like this little mountain ranger. That's cool. Uh, can we put a city there, too? Yeah. I like the idea of putting a city right there. But then again, this is a killer holy site and or campus. Uh, one, two. Yeah, we might just want to throw a holy site right there right away. Um, all right. But anyways, I think we're going to go for a diplomatic victory. But I think we're also going to go for culture as well, just in case we can't win the diplomatic victory. Because the AI just determines that we're going to lose it. So, because of that, yeah... Yeah, we'll get that. And I think we're also going to go for a religion then to help with the culture victory. Uh, what's the other thing with Canada? Canada. So we cannot declare war. We already read those. Uh, we get the Mountie. 
Its unique modern area unit can create national park, plus five combat strength when fighting within two tiles of a national park, and we get plus five combat when fighting within two tiles of a national park you own. So if he's fighting at home, he gets plus 10 combat strength, which is nice, nice. So, um, so it doesn't upgrade from anything or to anything, what? Okay. Is that the only unique unit in the game? Like, I'm trying to think of another unique unit that doesn't upgrade from anything or to anything. Huh. Alright. But, how, however, this is really, really great because uh, usually to get national parks, you just don't have enough faith and you have to wait quite a bit to get faith. So being able to buy these with production or faith or uh, production or... Um, 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 gold is really, really, really nice. And then what was your special the rink, ice hockey rink? So you get plus one to many, plus one culture for each adjacent tundra type, blah, blah, blah. Uh, gives tourism, gives plus food and production, gives culture if adjacent to a stadium. Okay, so then it looks like we want to build it next to a entertainment district in the tundra. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. So we start right away on Plains Hill. So this is going to be a 2-2 two -two city. Which is pretty good. The only other option is do we want to go over here and settle on the oranges instead. This would be a 4-1. Or it would be a 3-1. I think it would be a 4-1, right? If we went here, we could settle a city over here. I think so. I think so. I think so. Because we got another killer campus here. One, two. Yeah, we got another killer campus right here. And I love the hills. This is a killer start. This is 10 of 10. This is 10 of freaking 10. Okay, so it was a 4 1. That's what I thought. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of this stone too. <laughs> well, screw you, stone. I don't like you. Now, the downside of this start versus this one is we're not working any 2 twos right away. We really want to get this towel as quick as possible. So as soon as we get money, we're going to want to buy that. Uh, so you're growing in three turns, but your production rate's going to be hot trash. All right, so we have one of two build options. Normally, if I feel like uh, we want to go aggressive, or if I'm playing a multiplayer game, or if I'm worried about the AI being aggressive towards me, I will always go animal husbandry into archery, and then in our capital, we'll pop out a slinger. The goal is to get that slinger out, kill some barbarians with it early on to get the boost for archery, and then you can get archers uh, right around turn 12, 14, 15. You usually also then can buy another warrior, and then with that you can go uh, either conquer a city state, conquer an AI state, uh, a city, or, you know... Um, protect yourself from the AI. That being said, we can't conquer city-states, we can't declare surprise wars, and we can't be a victim of surprise wars. So I think we're gonna go, like I said, for the faith. Um, this is usually uh, what we'll do for uh, any time we try to get religion is we will rush out astrology and then in our capital we will go straight for a scout and the goal is to find a natural wonder as quick as possible. Now this is a very how should I say dangerous, I think is probably the best way to describe it, uh, start, because generally right around the time you get uh, your holy sites when you're going to want to pop out your second city somewhere in there, and so what usually happens is you'll end up with two cities and one warrior, and that is just prime, 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 um danger zone because if the ai sees this they will almost always declare war on you and there's no way you protect two cities with one warrior you're just gonna get crapped on at that point on deity so that being said since we're canada we should be fairly safe so i'm not too worried about this hopefully you get like a wonder up here too but the whole goal is we want to find a wonder as quick as possible the other way to counter early aggression is to just get yourself a, a bunch of warriors i think it's three warriors if you end up with three warriors the ai won't declare war on you so you are working now the 3-1, which, yeah, yeah. Four turns until that, and then we're going to be working a 3-1 and then a 2-3-1. So we're going to be making ridiculous stuff here pretty quick. I was kind of hoping you'd give me extra product, uh, extra pop, but all right. Well, that works. So four turns on the scout. Hello, Vilnius. Were we the first one? We were. Nice. Vilnius is really good too, right? Yeah, all your theater scores get a Jason adjacency bonus. Nice. Also, what is with these freaking... Oh my gosh, man. We got some crazy holy sites incoming. This is a 10 to 10 start. It's just 10 to 10. 
Unless we spawn with like America and Kilimanjaro right there. What the hell, man? Wow. So it appears this volcano gives plus two food to adjacent tiles on eruption, gives low yields, and is most likely damage improvements. Infrequent erupts, but it's always active. Okay, so basically, it's kind of a crappy volcano then. It's a crappy volcano that gives you more food. Um, and it's not a crappy volcano, it's just not a great one. So we actually probably want to put the city here then. And it's a river too. Oh god. Oh god, this city. We're going to need Liang pretty early on, I think, with this city. Yeah. Uh, so there's our natural wonder, so we could actually go ahead and switch over uh, to a settler, but I will finish out the scout just for the heck of it. Yeah, this is 10 to 10, man. I'm excited for this one. There's something else I wanted to do, I thought. Maybe. Maybe it was just drink my coffee, which I think I'm going to do. Well, we found where the barbarians are at. Okay, that's fine. Hello, you're actually right here. And this is actually not the right barbarians either. This is not the right barbarians. Okay, well, this is a little interesting. Uh, let's go for the settler. I don't really care about the early barbarian rush. The downside is we're not the most defensive of cities. You might actually be immediately going home. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to want to buy a warrior here. Uh, probably as quick as possible. But let's get the city out. Astrology's got four turns, and then we'll work on the holy site. Question is, and this is the other problem, we did want to buy this. Because we really want the holy site right there, because that's a really ridiculously good holy site. Why would you attack me? Why would you attack me? This should be fine. You gave me another recon unit? Okay, well, we can trap this guy in a little bit. That's probably okay. I'm a little worried about the scout attacking me, which is why I almost didn't attack out. But let's go knock out foreign trade, because I'm not worried about early aggression. We just need to make sure we get a C down here, and we got to see what's over there. But this is this is really, really good. I'm excited for it. Uh, give me the faith as well, please. That's really quick faith, man. Oh, sorry, really quick culture. Well, true, we're making plus two from Vilnius. All right, this works. You did not attack me, so goodbye. We need to heal you up, and I need to send you to go figure out where this sucker was. I don't think it was over here, right? I mean, maybe he's going home, but I'm assuming he was going home over there. Um, like I said, we're going to put a second seat here, and then we'll probably want one over here on the coast. I mean, this is some really good tiles right now. Four twos, four ones, four two one. Like, that's pretty dang good. <sighs> Would we rather have a city here or here? Is the question. I think I'd rather have a city here, even though standing starting next to that four two is just good. Um, yeah. And the question is, do we finish the settler or do we go for astrology? Oh, man. And by uh, go for astrology, I mean go for that holy site. I don't know. That's a good question. We actually here's the thing: we can't build the holy site anyways because we can't harvest the stone. So we're going to need mining as soon as we finish this. And then we need masonry. So we're going to keep popping out the settler then. Yeah. Okay. 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 We good. Hello. I found him. Oh, God. There was two more. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got spawned with the barbarian game. Oh, God. No, not again. Oh, this is bringing back flashbacks to our streamer live stream in which we had 7,000 barbarians on our freaking butt. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. So, that's probably good because it means no one spawned near me. I think is usually how it works. Some games you'll get a lot of barbarians. Other games you get no barbarians. So. The other question is, would we rather throw down a holy site somewhere else? Like, we could just put a holy site here. It's only going to be a plus one. But why, when we can get a plus three? Because we wouldn't get the religion, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we could also knock out a Stonehenge. And then guarantee ourselves the religion. 20 turns.
So let's see, how many turns is this? This is six turns plus 21 turns. That's a little on the slow side right now. That's a little on the slow side. The builder's 200. We can't afford a builder for a long freaking time. I'm just debating about Stonehenge right now. I don't think we want Stonehenge. I don't think we do. The question is, do we need the crap holy site? I, do, I just, I don't think we go that way. If we end up not getting a religion, we end up not getting a religion, and we can use those for campuses, which isn't terrible. So, I think I'm okay with this. You don't need a religion if you're going, um, culture. It's just nice. It's just nice to have. Got a lot of territory over here. I was hoping there'd be a city state over there to kill you. Like that. Let's do that. If we can kill off the scout, we're in a better spot. We don't have to worry about him. Oh, you got a promotion, dude. Uh, that's gonna put you at full HP, too. So we'll go here and put you battle cry. And let's get your butt over here. Before he spawns out more warriors. Coupe. Frick. I gotta turn the sound back on. Frick. Coupe. No. Coupe, I don't want you here, man. Go off to someone else's territory. Um, hmm. Hopefully he didn't spawn right there. Do we have loyalty issues? No, there's no loyalty issues over here. So we might want a city over there. I don't know. I need this city, though. Uh, by the way, I thought I turned sound back on. Options, audio, my lord. Your majesty. Sorry, your majesty. Same thing. Where do you go? We're just tracking this guy down. That's the positive aspect of trade. Okay, we got trade route right away. You get up there. You got a promotion score. Uh, this is where the barbarians spawned. Okay. They might actually start spawning out a bunch of guys on top of me, but we'll see. Uh, let's grab early empire since we're here. And a volcano right here too. Okay. I actually like volcanoes because they tend to get really awesome, amazing pops. So this is going to be a great tile for us. Is it active? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, kill Majaro is always active, remember. We'll kill you and then we'll upgrade you. Good, 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 good. We just need a couple more turns to get over there. I think I would rather go right here. Uh, just in case warriors spawn. And then there's another one down here. Are you freaking kidding with the barbarians? Calm the freaking heck down, game. Ah! <laughs> he says... Uh, I'm gonna go grab a second settler right away. Freaking hell. So, I can't actually take you where I need you to go, because I need you to go south. And I can't go that way. We could go settle over here first. It just seems dumb. Do the hills. And I think we're going to use you to kind of protect him. Which, oi. Is there anything more annoying than protecting a settler with... Can we kill you? No, that's a major defeat. <laughs> oi, this is so bad, man. Go away! You're not even moving right now. Like, what are you even doing right now? Okay, of course, he spawned with A, dude. Uh... So let's go here. And we're going to try baiting the slinger this way. Okay, this should be fine. Thank God we have two scouts, I guess, right? We could just pop out a warrior and be done with it. Five turns, four turns for a slinger. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Just give me the slinger. And then go immediately for masonry so we can put the freaking holy site down. Okay, baited. Murdered. Good. You're gonna go here, you're gonna go here. And then you guys are gonna link up. You can't move, so why can't you tell me you okay. I was like, wait a second, you you can't move any further. What's going on here? I know a barbarian's approaching the city gates. We're trying to trap him in right now. I was actually a little worried about him doing that, but I think we're fine. Cause we're plus five and we're in the forest, so hold up. Heal up. Dang it, I was hoping that was a trap. I can't believe we're chasing barbarians right now with... Alright, we good. 
Can we kill you off here? Yes, we can. Good, 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 good. All right, let's go get our city down. Please. You're still chasing. Oh my god, with the freaking barbarians. What the freaking heck? Ah, uh, this is stupid. Oh my god, he spawned off another unit too. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. This is a little- And there's another one! <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> oh my god. So what is this, like, seven encampments? What the hell? <laughs> when you should have gone aggressive because you got spawned next to a hundred barbarians. Oh my lord! Build a quarry. Let's go ahead and boost that. I, I don't even know what to say. This is just like ridiculous. This is like a whole nother level of ridiculous that I have just not even seen. Alright, you should be good to kill this guy. Oh, uh, and we could go attack here. I would be a little worried about him killing us, but we would get the t defensive terrain advantage. My hope is he's actually trapped here, and then we can get the kill here. Now, here's the downside. He might attack. No, there's our boost. All right, we got the boost. Three turns on that. Everyone just needs to heal right now. Uh, see, this is why I always hide. Someone's sending me messages on Steam. Offline. <laughs> why am I getting a message, who's this? Like, I that literally didn't even send you anything. Uh, city is placed within two tiles that can be flooded. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the 4-1. We're going to want the 4-2 right away. Which one are you working? The 4-1, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we keep our money because I'm probably going to want to buy a warrior here pretty quick. It seems like just to deal with all these freaking barbs. Okay, please don't spawn um, a, another unit. That would just be catastrophic at this point. We're going to put you there so you can heal a little bit quicker, and I'll have you come kill the Barbarian Encampment. Uh, we could go get a Holy Site right here. It's going to take a little bit. This is plus five. Being able to chop that out would be amazing. Yeah, being able to chop that out is going to be amazing. So we'll do that. Because we could actually uh, chop and then go for something different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coupe. What? What is... He can't surprise Warmy, so... Did I forget to send you a delegation? I forgot to send him a delegation. So this sucks. This is on a hill. Okay. We gotta heal one turn, because if I attack here, there's a chance his scout will... Most likely his scout will attack my warrior. And then my warrior will die. So we gotta actually heal you up. You, I think, might be just by yourself here. I don't really know what's going on there. We got early empires, so let's go grab Magnus. There is now a lot of discussion about going ping first instead of Magnus. I still think it's better to grab provision because the whole idea with ping is to grab the plus one science, plus one culture per citizen. And every pop you end up losing in the city is one less pop. Uh, one less science, one less culture. So that's so why I think I would rather go still Magnus first. Let's heal one more turn because you just spawned out. He can't once again attack here. So basically, we just don't want him to steal that from us, but we should be okay. Mali, what's up? We don't really want to meet you, uh, uh, bud. No, not really. So we need to get a city down here then. Yeah, we need to get a city right there as quick as possible then. Okay. So here's the thing. I don't really care about killing this guy. I'd rather have the tile. Hmm. It's a bit awkward. We'll heal you up one more turn, and then you should be good now. There is a uh, second encampment now officially eliminated. Uh, you go back to settlers, because we need this. Ah, oh, but we want the holy site too. Freaking heck, man. Oh, no, we need three more turns. We need three more turns, so that's fine. I, you know what? I almost feel like, especially with the Molly right here, we might have to say, screw the Holy Site. I was supposed to get the kill. 
Yeah, we might just want to say screw the holy site at this point. I forgot to send a trader out again. Oh my gosh, Brian. And now a trader out, a freaking delegation. Why am I so bad right now? Did he accept? Oh, he accepted. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, why do I keep forgetting the easy stuff? You need irrigation, so we can't actually do that. Uh, you need encamp, which we can't do. We do have a mine, so we could put a mine here. I think ultimately I'd rather work on this and that. So let's go here because animal husbandry is going to be our next goal. Could do some exploring as well, but I'll be okay. You heal up just a little bit before we keep exploring. We're a little trapped in, but I think this is still a 10 to 10 start. Ooh, another potent. Ah, dang it. Should have put the city right there. Should have put the city right there because we could have gone right down here. Hey, XP. Frick. Crap. He's going right on top of us. Oh, this is bad. Each of us is cut skill without it. This is bad. Okay, we gotta box him out, man. We gotta box him out. How do we do this? I need you. I need you over here as quick as possible to help. Please. Please, please, please. Where would he want this city? We might be able to flip him loyalty here. Maybe. Probably not, though. Because the AI grows pretty quick. I really don't want him to settle on the Plains Hill. He had an opportunity to go here, but he didn't. Maybe because he wanted to heal up first? It's the only thing I can think of. I'm trying to bait where he'd want this city. Maybe the AI doesn't want to put a city here? Because it's next to the volcano? Because, okay, so here's the thing. He goes there, I go there to block him. He can then go there. And then we're kind of screwed. If he wants that city there. So the question is, does he want the city right here? Ideally, we would have gone right there and boxed him out, but, you know, obviously we can't do that now at this point. Uh, craftsmanship is done. Let's go for state workforce. Um, and then it all comes down to whether or not we want this holy site. Seven turns. What is, what are we looking at right here? What are we looking at? So no one's even started a religion. Yeah, I mean, that's a thing. Oh, we can actually harvest the stone. Ah. So, let's do that. Let's harvest the stone. Let's get the settler and then let's pop it out. Okay. I like. He wants to go right there, I think. Okay. I think we're good. If I can get right here, we can just completely box him out. All right. Harvest, please. There's my free settler. And then we can go holy site right here. And then let's get a city down here. As quick as possible. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. Dang. Four tiles away. Crap. Yo, get out of my way. I hope Molly, or I hope uh, the Maori didn't go colonize over here. Because that would be kind of sucky. We are almost there, man. We are almost there. Okay, we got a chance, guys. We got a freaking chance. So, uh, you're coming here for the animal husbandry in two turns. Please don't move. Please don't move. Please don't move. He did not move. All right, we're good. We got him boxed out. So, now the question is, which one do we want to settle on? I think we'll go here. I mean, the plain seal is the best because that's going to stay at 2 2. I want to see what these tiles look like. It's a very interesting map, by the way. A very interesting map, indeed. Well, we're going to go to either of these. We'll see. We'll see here in one sec. Because I think once we put him here, we can actually put him there. Just get a little bit better of a picture. Fond of I am fond of pigs. Ah, uh, Sean B, man. I started watching through Game of Thrones again. Uh, in prep for the new series. Or the new season, so. Mm, yes, 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 yes. It's only gold right now, but still. It's a great tile, and we're working it already, so. All right, I think we want to go here on the Plains Hill. I think we do. Gets rid of one of my forests, but that's okay. It's a very defensive spot as well. 
Zero. Molly might denounce me because of this, but we'll see. Where's my warrior, by the way? What you up to? You're still healing one more turn? Good, and then we need to send you out. Uh, let's get archery, because we are going to want to protect ourselves here. And um, tundra, I think. From quarries, which isn't the worst in the world. I thought we had more stone. Maybe not. What was the one from Tundra? Someone already take the one from Tundra? Quarries, mining, camps, pastures, fishing boats. Someone already take the Tundra? We actually can't see anyone else's. From adjacent desert tiles, Divine Spark, Marsh, Oasis, Desert Floodplains, Fishing Boats, Camps, Culture from Pastures, Quarries. 50%, 50 healing, Border Expansion. What was the Tundra one? All right, I'm Googling this. Uh, Tundra, Pantheon, Civ 6. I think someone already grabbed it, man. Tundra. Yeah, plus one holy districts get plus one faith from adjacent tundra tiles. Dang it, Dance of the Aurora. That would actually be amazing for us. For any city that's up there. Alright, so I guess at that point, let's go ahead and grab Divine Spark. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Just so we can guarantee ourselves... Yeah, let's just guarantee ourselves a religion. So that's going to be making two per turn. And we're still the first one going. Someone already has great sciences. What? 5.7 per turn? What the hell? Oh my god. How do you have 5.7 per turn already? Jeez. Hello. Scary guys. Uh, I don't care about you. Oh my god. We just got another freaking encampment spawn. Oh, that's okay. All right, let's take you here. Box in, and we're definitely going to go right there. Uh, I don't know where you're from. Yeah, you must be from down here or something, or maybe you're the dude that uh, died, so I don't really care. Uh, You can come over here. Come up here. And none of these guys have the science, so it must be Korea in the game, I guess. Okay, you're good there. Uh, the problem is, this is gonna suck, because I can't actually move my unit there right now. Yep. Alright, well, we will kill you right away. Yay for barbarian spawns, and having AI next to us. Zulu, okay, that's a little scary. Honored to meet you, sample. Hospitality. Uh, actually, it's probably scary for Molly. Send delegation. Yeah, Molly still only have two city, right? Nope, they have three. They took over Babylon. B words. I like Babylon, man. Okay, next turn. You are mad, I think, at me. Probably because I'm blocking you. And we were just lagging. I just got the lag encoding overload, which I have no idea why that happened. All right, hopefully that wasn't a major thing. Hopefully that was just a one-time thing, which I think it was. So, we totally got a Golden Age, too, to begin with, which is great. So, I'll have to go back, and we'll have to double-check and make sure I didn't lose any audio. If we did, I might have to, like, go back and re-edit my audio <laughs> and put in what I was saying, if I can remember what I was saying. So, I don't know. Hopefully, I think that might have just been a one-timer, which is weird. I don't know why. We've not had any issues with this game. Uh, trade route probably early on, or do we want to grab that shrine to get plus three? Are we not granting great profit points per turn? The holy site gives you, oh, we just completed. Never mind. So now we're getting plus two per turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of want to keep popping out settlers, to be honest, but we do need more units. We're a little unit sh uh, starved right now. I think what we're going to do is grab a warrior here, and then in our capital. We don't have provision yet, so we did lose a pop the last one we built. I think we'll pop on another settler. We should be okay with this guy. And we just wiped out that holy, uh, that dude. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I like this. And then our new city here, let's go knock out the walls. <laughs> Just to be safe. And you're here waiting until we can get rid of this sucker. Hey, how about you attack my city, man? A strong economy. You just heal back up. We need to make you a archer, too, as well, but... Alright, you can go elsewhere. And let's kind of loop you around and see what's going on over here. Yeah, it's still wondering why that lagged on me. Want to get uh, grab oligarchy here as quick as possible, too. Uh, provision... Thank you. Like, everything's fine, so it just lagged out there for a second. I don't know. Go here, and then let's take you there. Nothing like being trapped on an island with Shaka and uh, Molly. May the forces of evil. You level? No. You need probably another turn or so before we can move you. Um, you should be good to go here. And remember, our whole goal? I just... Uh, I'm worried. Let's wait one more turn, because uh, we want to go chop out this sucker right here. So that's the goal. Just going to make, you know, the Maori a little unhappy with us. The one guy we friended. The one guy we friended. Dang. We can actually become Suzerain here. Go ironworking, which is very helpful early on to see where you want your cities. And we got to wrap this episode up here, too. Okay, we're good here now. You should be dead. Oh, my God, with these barbarians. Uh, where are you going, by the way? I think you're just trapped. We don't really want to declare war, though. Never again can I gain. Hello, Crater Lake. We don't really... We don't really want to conquer them because they're our only friend right now and that would make everyone else hate us a lot more too. We are definitely trapped by these mountains too. Mm -hmm. These mountains are basically just blocking us in. So I'm glad we went south, but it looks like all our remaining seas are going to have to go up north. This is awkward. This is going to be very awkward, guys. Is this enough cities to win? I don't know. It's not a lot of room. We gotta get a city over here as quick as possible. Are you effing kidding me with these encampments right now? What the hell? There's another one just spawned right there. Like, what the freaking heck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I need you... Come through here. We might want to box this out, like probably put a unit right here just to make sure no one can get over here. I don't know, we'll have to see how this works. I think I'm going to bring you over here because we're going to need you to go settle. Um, I don't know where our other scout is, he's way to the south. Uh, next turn we can go chop, let's do that and we'll wrap up this episode. What the freaking heck, they totally screwed up the barbarian spawns in this expansion, man. Nope, there you go. You're going to spawn a bunch of troops, I'm sure. Great. Great. There's going to be a little extra bleed over on this, but it should be fine. Because then that's going to go right towards the holy site. Plus five. Ridiculously good holy site. And then we're going to bring you over here. Got a horseman? Oh, there must be an encampment right there, I think. Okay, well, let's wrap this episode up here. Next episode, we're going to deal with the barbarian invasion. We're going to try getting this third city down, or fourth city down. Yeah, we need to box this out right here. Right there. If we can go kill these guys. Actually, maybe we just want to put the city right here and be done with it. Yeah, because they'll get more loyalty pressure over here. But no, nah, I really need it over here before AI goes over here. Yeah, I think we actually do want to put it right there. Might have some loyalty issues, though. So we might want to put one here and then one there. We can box this forever just by keeping a scout there. All right. Well, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and share your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Bye, everyone.